All right, so Little Bug wants a paw struck treat. I'm going to treat from them. Is that a yes or a no? Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> okay, be nice. Be nice. Okay, be. Uh, oh. Good morning. Happy Monday. Off to an appointment, but I just wanted to say that I just looked and Betty White is winning. So if you haven't voted, if you've seen the stories, haven't voted, just go back a couple stories and help me name my car. It's between Betty White and Pearl. So I'm excited. She's going to have a new name. So go vote if you haven't. So we know the name of my car. And the new name is? Betty, Betty White. White. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Today I'm working on planter boxes that I'm building out of old scrap pallet wood. Um, I am building it around a specific flower pot. My flower pot will actually fit into a 12 and a half square um, and I'm making sections and then I'm going to put a top and a bottom and feet on it. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I cut out one foot sections of pallet and then I staggered the corners and then I made basically squares out of this and I'm going to stack them up. My planter this time is going to be three high. Last year I made some that were five, um, five sections tall, but let me show you how I put these together and I'm using all scrap wood. So to put these all together, like I said, I'm using a one by one. I'm going to use glue on both sides and then I'm going to use one inch nails and I'm going to go through the outside and these should all stay together securely. I did want to mention that if your one by one or your support for your corner does not sit flush, you can use shims just like I did. I went ahead and secured the bottom portion of it first, put the shim in, um, put the nails in on the outside and then broke the shim off. So to finish off the bottom, I'm taking scrap wood and I'm actually taking three pieces and putting it on the bottom. So you can use whatever. I just like a finished bottom and then I'm actually gonna add little feet. So the feet can be attached to this scrap wood. So this is the bottom of the planter and I am going to add little feet. So I took a um, one by two and I just sliced off about one inch pieces and then I'm going to glue and so for the final touch for the planters, I used a one by two and kind of made a frame and that way it gives the planter kind of a finished look. Now I'm going to sand everything down really well, stain it and give it a coat of polyurethane.